Hi, this is Emily from Emily and Her Tools, and I used my Next Wave Shark CNC with the mini fourth axis attachment. Thanks to Next Wave for sponsoring me for this video. And I was able to make this cool pen with the words Crow Bunny and the logo of bunnies carved in it. Um, I used resin for this one and a pen kit just uh, sold at a local wood crafting store and um, I videoed the process. So enjoy the video so that you can make your own pens um, using the mini fourth axis. To wear gloves because I don't want to mess my nails up so I know that sounds like silly but I love getting my nails done with cool designs and I don't want to ruin that since I get on them so basically I'm just making it so that the super glue will attach um, well to the tube. So you're just roughing it up. So I have my um, tubes ready, the copper tubes inside the resin. As you can see, it's all like warped. Um, now I see the point of getting the good um, resin molds from a wood crafting company instead of the soft silicone um, uh, molds because they do not form perfect squares. Anyway, so I have these ready. I have to trim down to the copper tube um, in all of them. This one, as you can see, I messed up. See, it doesn't go all the way flush. So this will be a practice one to make sure that my programming is right. So um, we'll see how it goes. So I learned a lesson while cutting these 
um, resin pen blanks with the copper tubes, tubes trimming them. Um, I made a huge mess all over. Um, so next time I will wear my apron uh, and hopefully not get it all on me. Okay, so I went ahead and attached um, this to the mini fourth axis and I'm ready to start carving out my first pen. Um, I wasn't going to do my acrylic first, I was going to do the wood first, um, but since I had to re-glue um, one of the copper tubes back, I have to wait for it to dry. So these are ready to go. So I'm gonna try it out and we'll see how it goes. So this was my first attempt at cutting out for a pen and this is my daughter's logo and the name is Crow Bunny. So the Y 
didn't cut out all the way. I don't know why I can't focus on that, but there. The Y, see it cut right to the edge of it. The K started right at the top, so I need to work on measurements better. But otherwise, I'm very happy. I didn't ruin a bit, didn't ruin the copper or anything. So all in all, I think it's amazing.
Thank you for watching my video. If you're interested in any of the Next Wave tools that I used in my video or any of the other Next Wave products that they sell, be sure to check out the description for my affiliate link to their official store. If you use my link for a purchase, I'll receive a small commission and it will allow me to make more videos. Thanks again.